Hey folks, this is Vint with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Mega Aquarium Deep Freeze. This is the deluxe expansion, or at least one of them, for the base game Mega Aquarium. You will need to own Mega Aquarium in order to play this particular Deep Freeze expansion. There's a number of other expansions available for this game as well. You can check it out on Steam if you so choose to. Mega Aquarium is just what it sounds like. It's one of those build-your-own-aquarium style games. There's a campaign mode. There's a sandbox mode. In fact, I'll take you through this by hand so that you can see well, as many things as I'm mentioning. Um, there's a campaign here, like I said, this is for the core game. And then Freshwater Frenzy is another type of expansion that is available. I play strictly in Sandbox, so that's where I get the most of my fun. And then the Deep Freeze has its own campaign. I've actually been spending the last two to three hours in the Sandbox mode just messing around with some of the new creatures that are available in this Deep Freeze expansion. Um, some of the new features that you might see in this particular expansion include a 5-level campaign, 30 cold water marine species including ab abyssals, mammals, birds, invertebrates, and fish, 8 new tanks and equipment to support your abyssal and polar species, Two posters, a new gift shop item, plus four accessories to augment your staff, new paints, decorations, and all new custom substrates, and additional objectives to enrich the sandbox experience. As you probably guessed, I was reading off of the Steam Store page at that point. Okay, so here's a quick look at everything that you can get in the sandbox mode, and you can sort of adjust this any way you want to, standard, research, creator mode, or you can just customize it and pick whatever you like. I have instead, again, been spending the last two, three hours just kind of, I mean, this is a very crappy aquarium, <laughs> but, you know, it takes some, it actually takes quite a bit of time to do stuff like this because each animal and creature in this game is like, it needs specific things. It like, let's, let's not look at the polar bears for a minute and look at the basic stuff. Like, for example, there's some fish here right? Tank number nine. I've got this bull hus in here. It needs um, a lot of different things. It needs water quality to be at least 70%. It needs cold water, so you have to chill the water in order for it to be happy. As long as you meet all of its requirements, you can pretty much just let it go, but you will need to feed it. Um, all the fish require different kinds of well, feed. Um, you'll be putting down various dispensers so that your staff can feed your fish. Um, it's probably nicer if I just go into first person view like this. If you just zoom in far enough, you just automatically go into this first person view. Uh, there's an empty tank there. So I love first person view. I just love going around and looking at stuff. You can put staff doors in like that to prevent your guests from going in there. And your, your customers here, your guests, will generate science points and um, other like nature points and like I think they're like base points or something like that. Um, it, with enough base points, it's this little gold thing down here, with enough of that prestige rank, your prestige will go up. So like just by you know building fish and being successful and seeing to their needs, you will level up and unlock more things. Uh, for example, at rank 12, you unlock the polar bear, the giant phantom jelly, the mega polar dome, silver sand substrate, snow dens, frozen paint, and so on. Um, but yeah, th this can be overwhelming to the first time player. So I'm just going to quickly show you some of the new things that are available in this particular um in this particular expansion. Um, we'll start with the polar bears. So this took some getting used to. Um, so there's a new freeze mechanic. Um, they prefer ice. Uh, and to get that to happen, it, they're an ice lover. Um, because everything revolves around chilled, um, you need air conditioners, you need to super chill the tank. And super chill is a requirement. This tank's temperature must be greater or equal to two times its depth. So essentially you're just going to keep adding these uh, chillers and these air conditioners until like they're happy is what it comes down to be. I mean there's math behind it but I'm not going to get too much into that. It's just keep adding 
these air conditioners here, which I've attached to the tank. And if you can't put everything to the tank, you can build these like pumps. You put the you put the chillers or whatever you want around the pumps, and then you link the pumps to the tank, and it works just as well. Otherwise, you have to do an adjacency thing. So yeah, the polar bears are kind of just messing around in there. They require clipboards, supplements, and herrings in order to be happy. And you'll also note there's little chevrons next to the symbols, the little food symbols here. You, your breeder or your um, staff has to be a certain skill level in order to actually feed them. So whenever you're hiring your staff, which is this menu here, just to make sure that their feeding skill is like two or three or above, uh, which is what I did already. I'm playing in like sandbox so that I could have quickly done this. Otherwise, it would have taken me a day or two to actually do all of this stuff. But anyway, um, so yeah, there's polar bears. It's kind of cool. Can I zoom in far enough? And there we go. There's our little polar bears. So yeah, I, I didn't put all of the new creatures down, but I try to put a, a sampling. Um, another one... I'm not sure if this is unique to this expansion or not. I haven't seen them before. Um, so this particular tank, this abyssal tank, actually requires science to operate. So this is not a tank that you want to put down first thing. Um, it's a deep... It requires, like... it's a. It simulates a deep sea environment. Some of your uh, fish will require that. And you need a steady stream of science points in order to keep this thing running. So... Um, this is not a tank that you want to make right away, but I, I saw it and I'm like, what is this? I've never heard of it before. Anyway, um, some other things that I created. There's an octopus down there. There we go. And I'm trying to get to some of the other ones that I did. There's the penguins. <laughs> Those eyes are so beady. <laughs> but yeah, just a little small polar tank. Uh, there are new tanks, and I'll show you the build menu in a second. But yeah, I mean, it's it's essentially the same as putting fish down, except there are special tanks now for land, part land, part water, and um, you have to satisfy them. As you can see, there's a lot going on here. You need uh, a specific land capacity, um, there's enrichment, there's aquatic grass, which there's, it's a special, like, decoration type that you put inside the tanks. It satisfies, like, there's regular grass, and then there's, like, this aqua, uh, like, this, like, like, Antarctic grass of some kind. And again, I'll show you in the build menu in a moment. But yeah, there are sp special new things that are included in this. Uh, getting to the build menu, let's go ahead and do that. Tanks. All right, so if we scroll down, and again, everything's unlocked, so this is pretty much everything in the game. Um, polar domes. You've got a small polar dome, a medium polar dome, a large polar dome, and a mega polar dome. I believe the one over there was mega. Um, but yeah, you can see the land capacity, air volume capacity. It's paintable, so you can mess around with that. Um, the amount of ice that is needed. Uh, you have to put enough air conditioning in the tank in order for... The, the occupants to be happy. It's draggable. So yeah, really cool. And so those are the different like new tanks that you can have. And as far as like equipment, as you can see, I mean, this is all stuff that you would connect to a tank to make your, your creatures happy. Some filter the water, some are combo. So some will both chill it and filter it. There's um, heaters, but you're not going to deal a whole lot with that when it comes to this new expansion. There's a basic chiller, a large chiller, and a mega chiller. Um, a lot of this stuff, there's auto feeders, there's the air conditioners. There's air conditioner, large air conditioner, and mega air conditioner. As far as the new fish, unfortunately, like there's no filter for just the new fish. So honestly, I don't have them all memorized. I don't play the game that much. What I look for, though, is a fish that has like a little snowflake. And like these are all the requirements, if you can believe that. Not not all of them are requirements, but most of them. And you can see some of the rewards that you get. Like this, um, here's one. Requires air conditioning. So this Atlantic Puffin is a new one. The Long-Tailed Duck is a new one. The Snow Petrel is a new one. 
the Adele, Adele Penguin is a new one, and the Emperor Penguin. All five of those are new because of the snowflake. This Pacific Walrus has a snowflake on it. The Crab Eater Seal has a snowflake on it. The Northern Sea Otter has one on it. The Polar Bear. I'm looking further down just to see if there's... Any. I'm sure there is. I kind of read off all of the... Uh, at the beginning of the video, I read off all of the new features. So there's probably more in here that I just accidentally skipped over. But just to quickly sum everything up, build an aquarium with this new expansion. You're pretty much adding new frost stuff elements to this, new frost creatures and, and so on. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I, I love this game simply because it's very casual. It's very light. You can play it how you like with the sandbox mode. There is a campaign, although I don't really care for the campaign. I, what I do in the campaign is I delete everything and then I just just refill in things the way I like. I know it's weird, but <laughs> just delete everything and then just fill it in. But yeah, I mean, I will I will just warn you, there is a learning curve associated with this. Trying to understand how things work, how things connect. Um, you know, employees need access to the tanks. You have to build these uh, stairwells and these little platforms so that they can access that. Um, in case you don't have enough adjacency room, you know, you build these pumps so that they connect to your tanks from a distance, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, um, there's also, I don't know which of these are new, but there's a new penguin. Of course, they're all uh, sold out right now, but there's a, a penguin uh, stuffed animal array people can buy from. So there's that as well. But yeah, I totally recommend this game. It's a lot of fun. It'll keep you busy for a very long while and you can play it how you like. It's it's both deep and casual both at the same time. If you want to be one of those people that are like, okay, I, I, I can mix these animals together because they don't eat each other. Or this one is a bully animal, so I can't put this fish in with this fish. I can't put this creature in with this creature. It, me, I try to ignore all that. Like, just to get around all of that, I give each creature their own tank. And all I need to really worry about is their population size. That's what I do. And it works. It works. But if you want to be one of those people that like to, oh, this fish belongs with this fish because I want it to, and this fish likes to be with this and, and so on. Or you can put things together and watch them eat each other up to you. But like my, my point is there's a lot you can do with this game and it's a lot of fun, super casual. I love the, I, I'm playing on Sandbox right now, but I, I love the fact that you can level up, unlock new levels, and you know, you have a reason to keep being efficient and to keep your aquarium healthy. But yeah, and you know, it, it's just so, it, once you get into it, it's so easy to lose yourself in. It's so easy to expand. Like if you want to just, let's just add this extra, boom, boom, done. New area that I can build in. Yeah, stuff like that. I want to put a wall in. Oh, I could do that too. It's just, it's super easy. Compared to some other games, this one is just way easier to get into, at least in my opinion. So go check out Mer Mega Aquarium and all of its expansions. Um, if you like games like Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, I think you'll be really satisfied with this. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh my god. All right. What? Well, oh. <laughs> I forgot to put uh, a little cleaner thing down <laughs> so that my janitors could clean the bathrooms. Oh, I love it. Um, my only complaint is I fumble a lot with the, these menus, like trying to find what I'm looking for can be um, can be quite challenging. It's it's in here. So, oh, sponge sink. I'll just put that right there. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Um, you can put these uh, dispensers down for your staff, and it makes them better at their jobs. So if someone's cleaning this feeding stick, well, I don't think it's that one, but um, there are dispensers for just about everything. This one lets you carry more food. This one increases your your walk speed. So employees can equip these bonuses, these items to make them better at their jobs. So there's a bunch of those. I, I love that. So anyway, um, yeah, let's go ahead and end the video here. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. Catch you all next time. Take care.